Hello, and welcome to another fun and informative episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. I want to say, first of all, all of my videos are uploaded only to my YouTube channel, Fat Vegan Chef. If you see my videos uploaded to somebody else's channel, please contact me immediately, either on YouTube or on my website, thefatveganchef.com. I do have an easy form that you can fill out on the website. Today I'm going to make one of my favorite Indian dishes, Bingan Bharta, or eggplant puree. The recipe is at thefatveganchef.com. Go there and follow along. It is a pretty easy recipe to make. It just has several steps and it is really flavorful, for, so it's worth it. For the starch, I am using basmati rice. If you want to, you can also use quinoa or caniwa. Instead, just substitute the same proportions for the rice. Let's get this thing started, shall we? The tools that you will need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a half sheet pan or a cookie pan, a large skillet, a pot with a lid, measuring cups and spoons, tongs, a microplane, spoons, ladle, and a knife. The ingredients that you will need to make this dish are two large eggplants, two medium onions that are quartered. You can use any color that you want to. I just happen to like red. Eight medium or 16 Roma tomatoes. Two chili peppers of your choice. These happen to be Anaheim. Enough olive oil to coat these vegetables. One and a half inch to three inch piece of ginger that's been peeled and grated. 3 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, 6 garlic cloves that have been minced, 1 half tablespoon of turmeric, 2 tablespoons of ground coriander, 1 half teaspoon of uh, ground cumin, 2 teaspoons of ground marsala, 3 tablespoons of fresh cilantro that's been chopped, you want to split one tablespoon and two tablespoons, two teaspoons of sea salt or to taste, and two teaspoons of lemon juice. For the rice, what you will need are two cups of basmati rice. You need enough water to soak the rice. You also need four cups of water, and this is to cook the rice. One teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, one half teaspoon of turmeric and two tablespoons of cilantro chopped. Either preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or fire up your barbecue for low to medium heat. And we're going to use the oven today so we're going to preheat our oven. While we are waiting for the oven to heat up we're going to start by getting the rice ready. What we want to do is wash the rice and once the rice is washed we want to put it in the water and let it soak for 30 minutes. Alright, first what we want to do is place our eggplants, tomatoes, peppers and onions on a baking sheet and we want to coat this with oil and I'm using extra virgin olive oil here. And if you are going to be using your barbecue or gas stove you uh, do want to cook the same ingredients on the fire until they are soft and the skin is nice and charred. And what we're going to do is roast the eggplant and the rest of the vegetables in the oven for about 20 or 30 minutes or until the eggplant is nice and soft. It uh, doesn't have to cook all the way through but because we're going to cook it a little bit longer on the stove but we do want to get it nice and soft so then that way it gets that nice um, charred flavor that we're looking for okay these look like they are ready to go in the oven after about 10 minutes we're going to look at them and flip them and then after 20 minutes we're going to look at them again see if they're ready and take them out of the oven if it's time. If not, we'll let them go for another 10 minutes. 
So let's go ahead and put these in the oven. All right, it sounds like our vegetables are ready to take out of the oven. Let's go ahead and take them out. All right, nice and cooked. And now what we want to do is take our vegetables and put them in a bowl. And once we have all of our vegetables in the bowl, what we want to do is cover it with plastic wrap and that way what that will do is allow the steam to get in there and make it easier to peel the skin off of these vegetables this last little bit here this liquid pour that in there as well it's good flavor right there all right let's go ahead and get this plastic wrapped Now that we have this wrapped, what we're going to do is turn our attention back to the rice. Now that we have our vegetables sitting here getting nice and steamy, what we're going to do is go ahead and drain our rice. And I'm going to drain most of this in the sink. And once we have most of the rice drained, we're going to run it through a strainer here to try to catch the rice. And we're going to put it in our pot. Now that we have our rice in the pot, what we're going to do is add our ingredients for the rice, which is the turmeric, extra virgin olive oil, the salt, and the cilantro. And then what we'll do is put four cups of water in this and we'll set it for a boil.
Okay, we have our water boiling now. What we're going to do is put the lid on this. And we're going to bring this down to a simmer. And we're going to cook this for 20 minutes. We're not going to open up the lid. We're not going to peek at it. We're not going to stir it. We're just going to let it sit there and do its due. After the 20 minutes are up, what we'll do is remove the rice from the heat and remove the lid. We're going to stir it all up and we're going to let it sit to be ready to take our eggplant to Baharda. And now let's go ahead and go back to the vegetables that we cooked earlier. Uh, they should be uh, ready now. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut all these vegetables in a uh, medium dice. And if the vegetables are too mushy to be cut in a medium dice, that's okay. We'll still use them anyway. Just go ahead and put them in your bowl. Also what you want to do is remove the skins of the vegetables as well. The onions don't really need to be skinned because we've done that prior. But the tomatoes and the peppers and the eggplant, we don't want the skin in our dish. And also if you want to, if you don't want it to be too hot, you can remove the seeds and the inner membrane of the peppers. It's not necessary. It's just another step if you don't want it to be too extremely hot depending upon which pepper you chose. Okay, we have just about everything peeled and diced now. Skins, you can go ahead and add to your compost heap. The vegetables, we're going to go ahead and finish cooking those along with our seasonings in our pot. And our rice should be just about done now as well. So we're going to go ahead and check on our rice. This is the way that the rice is going to look like when it's done. You can see it's a nice yellow color. And it's nice and fluffy. Once we take our fork to it and fluff it up really good, it will be nice and separated and ready for our eggplant. Let's go ahead and cook our eggplant, shall we? What we want to do is heat up our pot, get it nice and hot, and we're cooking this at about medium to medium high right now. And go ahead and add your olive oil. We're going to get our olive oil hot. Okay, now that our olive oil is hot, we want to go ahead and add our ginger, our garlic. Our turmeric, our 
we want to add our coriander, cumin, and gram marsala. So we're going to let this cook for just a moment. Let the oils be released from the spices. Okay, I can smell the ginger and I can smell the rest of the spices right now. So the oils have been released and I think it's uh, cooked long enough now. Yeah, it's time. So now what we want to do is add our roasted vegetables. Temporarily bring your heat up to high. And stir everything together. Get all the spices mixed in with the rest of the vegetables. Now we've got the vegetables all mixed in with the spices. We're going to go ahead and add our salt. We're going to add our cilantro. This is the one tablespoon of cilantro that we're adding now. The two tablespoons will come later. Give this a good stir. Now we're going to let this cook for about um, 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to stir it occasionally. Um, take the heat down to about medium, medium high and just watch it. If it starts to burn, bring the temperature down a little bit more. So we'll cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll see how it looks. As this is cooking along, what you want to do is kind of help it by mashing your vegetables. You want to basically turn this into a sauce. It's getting there. Okay, I think we are just about there. And it is still a little bit chunky. If you like yours a little bit more creamy or you want it to be more creamy, you can put it in the blender if you want to and puree it till it's a nice cream. I happen to like a little bit of chunk in mine, so I'm going to let it be the way it is now. And now what you want to do is go ahead and add your lemon juice and the rest of your cilantro. Stir that in there. And we're going to let this cook for another minute or two. And then we'll be ready to eat. Okay, it's been a minute or two. I think we're ready to eat. What do you think? Alright, let's plate this thing. Nice big scoop of rice. Put a little hole in the middle to allow the sauce to sit in there.
You add a nice big helping of the eggplant. Just like that. Now just garnish with a couple pieces of cilantro. like that and it's time to eat thank you for watching another video of the fat vegan chef please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be informed of new videos also please like this video and share it with all your friends if you made this recipe let me know how it turned out for you go to the fatveganchef.com for the recipe and more I'll see you next time